Hi, this video is about another core concept in developmental psychology or developmental science or the study of human development. And that has to do with the fact that development, when it happens, it could either take place in sudden changes or slow gradual changes, or sometimes a combination of both, depending on what characteristic you're looking at. And so we get these terms continuity and discontinuity or continuous development or discontinuous development. Now, a strictly discontinuous view of development or someone who believes in discontinuity believes that development occurs in stages, in steps. Like you have sudden qualitatively different change. You're a different person when you move from one stage to the next. Now, if you look in the developmental psychology textbook, one thing you'll see is there are a lot of classic theories of development that propose stage theories. If you've heard of Piaget, Freud, Erickson, there are lots of others, right? Those are some of the big names where they say you are in this stage of development. Piaget says you're in the sensory motor stage of development, then you move into the pre-operational. Freud said that people moved from the phallic stage to the latent stage of development, all right? So those views, those stage theories would take a discontinuous view of development where you have sudden drastic change and you have a completely different experience from one stage to the next. Now, what would a continuous view of development look like? Well, this is when you believe in slow, subtle, gradual changes, incremental changes, a little creep, creep, creep. You know, it kind of sneaks up on you. And so with the idea of continuous changes, it's not like you're a different person from one day to the next or one time period to the next. It's not like you jump into a new stage and you're a completely different person. The idea is, well, you just have a little bit more of something or a little bit of less of something in certain cases. And the thing is, a lot of these classic stage theories, uh, some of them have kind of been discredited altogether, like uh, with Freud's psychosexual uh, stages of development. We, you know, we've, we've, you know, we teach those because they are historically into influential and important, but we've, we've kind of moved beyond those in terms of thinking that's actually what drives development. Um, but Piaget, for example, Piaget's uh, stages of cognitive and intellectual development, uh, those four stages, sensory motor, pre-operational, concrete operational, formal operational, uh, those stages, we now know from research that they are not as drastic and um, stage-like as we once thought. We now see that right before a child moves into the next stage, they actually have a little bit of slow, gradual um, change right before they gain that next skill that says, hey, they're in the next stage. We actually have evidence for more continuity than Piaget once thought that there was. And so, um, so when you see these words, continuity and discontinuity, think sudden drastic change stages versus slow, subtle, gradual gains in development. 